Because I'm more into members of the media, the members of the public, and welcome to the Channel Local Service weekly media briefing for Wednesday, 13th March 2019. I'm um, Superintendent Wayne Meister. Uh, together with me on the press briefing today, we have Inspector Randall McGook, who is the inspector in charge of the Besson Street Police Station, which is a station district in the Port of Spain division. One of the strategic goals of the Trinidad Bureau Police Service is to reduce and detect crime as one of the pillars, and that is uh, we have certain mandates uh, that we must uh, do in terms of getting the reduction rate and increasing the, the detection rate. And to give us some uh, valuable information as it relates to the Port of Spain Division, representing the Port of Spain Division Inspector Randall Leduc, will now give us some uh, information about the Port of Spain Division as to the reduction and the crime detection in that area. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Meister. Good morning, members of the media. Shut down today. The Port of Spain Division is bordered by the Northeastern Division on the east and on the west by the Western Division. It comprises five police station districts, Woodbrook, St. Clair, Central Police Station, Bessor Street, and Belmont. The Port of Spain Division is responsible for the safety and security of the capital city, which is the epicenter of business and commerce in Trinidad and Tobago. The division, which is under the command of Senior Superintendent Flores Hodge Griffith, is pleased and proud to have provided an effective and efficient safety and security blanket for citizens and visitors during the recently concluded Carnival 2019 celebration. The immense policing operation, which involved 1,200 police officers drawn from various branches, units, sections of the Trian Tobago Police Service, and supporting agencies such as the city police resulted in a record low for serious reported crimes for the division. Out of a similar record low, 12 recorded nationwide for the carnival period. This successful operation was made possible by several policing strategies being implemented for the festivities including stop and search exercises at strategic locations, breathalyzer testing exercises, speed exercises, air support through drone technology, increased mobile and patrols, foot patrols, and a comprehensive but clear traffic management plan for the division. The Port of Spain Division has thus far recorded a 36% decrease in serious reported crimes, with 236 recorded to date for 2019, compared to 367 recorded for the same period 2018. Diligent work and improved intelligence gathering has made it possible for officers in the division to seize a total of 21 firearms during the period under review, up from 17 firearms for the corresponding period in 2018. The figures show a 23% increase in seizures in the current year. A total of 224 rounds of assorted ammunition were also discovered or seized within the division for the period. The Port of Spain Division will continue to endeavor with the astute assistance of the public to take illegal guns and ammunition off the streets and out of the hands of criminals. Another area in which the division has been able to register successes is that of robberies. A total of 16 reports of robbery were recorded in the division for the period, compared to 106 reports for the same period in 2018, re 
reflecting a 43% decrease. This can be attributed to the increased mobile and foot patrols, raids and searches, roadblock exercise, effected across the division, assisted by officers of the Emergency Response Patrol Unit, which provide a strong deterrence for persons seeking to commit, commit these acts. Shooting and woundings in the Port of Spain Division now stand at six when compared to 11 reports in 2018, representing a 45% reduction with respect to this type of crime in the division. For the year thus far, there have been approximately 20,000 cruise ship passengers arriving in the capital city and the Port of Spain Division continues to provide tourist-oriented policing to ensure the safety and security of these visitors. Persons visiting the capital city are always advised to secure their personal property and desist from exposing large sums of cash when conducting business. Be aware of your surroundings and exercise caution in public spaces. Police officers, both in uniform and plain clothes, will continue to be alert and vigilant as we patrol the division even after the conclusion of the carnival season, as we maintain a zero tolerance approach to crime and criminal conduct in the Port of Spain division.